we go. All right, everybody. Well, welcome to class number six of Launch 28, how to launch your product in 28 days or less while building your list, gaining testimonials, and creating multiple streams of income. I'm Chad Thibodeau. I'll be your, your guide today. So glad to have you here with us. We're going to be learning a lot today, so just giving you an FYI, we are going to be drinking out of the proverbial fire hose, pretty much like we do every week, but this week you want to pay special attention because it's talking about technology. It's sometimes technology can paralyze us, and so you're going to want to take incredible notes today, and then you're going to want to go back and watch this video multiple times. I promise you that it's going to help you so very much because nothing is worse than bad technology. But before we get there, I want to just remind us a little bit of where we've been. We said from class one that the best way to succeed in business is to be in business. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get off of our, our proverbial couch, like the story we gave in week one, where we're paralyzed with overwhelm. We don't know where to start or, or what to do or who to hire or who not to hire or what program or what platform. And so we just get overwhelmed and we get stuck on our proverbial couch. And what we need is we need someone to come knock on our door with an outside point of view, with some objectivity, with a little bit of know-how and a game plan, and to help us go from ideation to activation, and that's why we're doing this class, and we believe that you can actually get there relatively soon, in fact, in 28 days or less. And so we, what we said we're going to do, in order to make money online, you have to go out and you have to engage strangers, and you have to turn them into prospects, and that's the top of our funnel. We'll move them into interested folks. We'll get them curious with our, with our free information, and hopefully we'll be able to get them to pull out their credit card and to pay us for that information, and then they'll become customers, and before too long, they'll be doing that multiple times where they become clients, and if we are fortunate enough and we've done a good enough job, we'll get a few of them to spend a lot of money with us, and they'll be our high-ticket clients. So we worked on our value proposition, understanding who we are and who we help and what it is that we do and what is the expected result and outcome, and what we found out is if it is beneficial to folks, they will spend money with you, and so we created five steps to our value ladder and what we said was we want to be able to create multiple streams of income and we also want to be able to build our list so we start with a lead magnet where we give a free content in exchange for their information as an ethical bribe and then we help them overcome that first psychological barrier where they pay us you know five six seven ten twenty dollars for something of high value but we give them that little mentality ah what do i have to lose it's only x amount of dollars and then from there we you know ascend them up to our core product and this is what we're going to be talking about next week where we're going to be building a passive and residual income and we're going to make it available to two to four different levels of people so everyone can afford it. Then we're going to upsell them on something where they're going to be asking the question, what else do you have to make it successful? And if we're fortunate enough, we're going to be able to sell a few of them and they're going to spend a lot of money with us because that's where we're going to invest our time. But we don't want to just invest with anybody. We really want the perfect client. So we spent some time doing a customer avatar in week two. And we said, who do we want to work with and who will all of my information best help? And we were able to identify our perfect client. But then we said there's really two ways to market to this client. We can either go the ego route, which is what you see a lot of realtors doing, where we pass our picture and, and our phone number and our email address and our website and, and you know our logo everywhere and making it all about us. Or we could do the opposite, which is called hero marketing, which is where we really learn about our target audience and our perfect client and what makes them tick. And we understand that we're not trying to get everybody, but we're just trying to get a certain few. And we're going to research them and study them and find out what their problems are and what their pain point is. And then our product is going to solve that pain. And they're going to be the hero of our marketing. And we're going to be their hero because we're going to come in and we're going to save the day. And so we said we have to create an 11-step process to do that, where we understand starting at the top of the person, who we're trying to help, who is our our perfect client. What problems do they have? How does that manifest itself within the pain? And then personal is where, where we become the hero, where we come in and tell our story and tell our problem and tell our pain, but then also tell them 
how we were able to overcome that. And then we're going to be able to make a big promise to them. This is that one statement that when we make this, it's going to be able to open up their eyes and potentially open up the doors for their future success. And then we're going to give them the process. This is where we give away our best stuff. We tell them what. We give them the theory that they need to know to overcome their solutions, but that's not what people buy. Then we're going to introduce them to our product. This is the how. How to implement the what we just taught them. And this is your magic bullet. This is your shiny object that you've got to sell to the world. But we want to show them that it works. So we're, then we're going to move over to the proof stage where we're going to prove to them that this actually works. Then we're going to give them the perceived value. This is the value stack where we stack five or six or seven things on top of each other. And we show them that your product is worth so much money. And then we price our product somewhere between 10 and 20% of what the perceived value is. And then we go for the sale. And then we finally ask them to purchase our product. That's the 11-step process that we take someone from, from all the way from the prospect stage all the way to a high ticket item. But remember we said that if you don't have a list, you don't have a business. And that's true. If you don't have people to purchase your product, then nobody will purchase your product. But we said you got to be careful there because it's not the size that matters, but it's the quality of the lead and how you engage with them that matters. You want the right people in your email database, not just lots of people. You want, you want a few people who are quality people, and you're going to engage them and nurture them, and you're going to move them on to the sale. So we said by the end of this class, our goal is to get our first 100 subscribers. That's it, 100 people. Folks, you can make a lot of money with 100 people in your email database, and that is our goal. So we created a seven-step strategy to get these 100 people. And what we said is, is we're going to give something away. We're going to write a shareable article that people can share to the world. This is going to become like our TED Talk, but in writing. Then we're going to host our Facebook Live session. This is where we give our TED Talk. And we're not, you know, we're not selling a ton of stuff on this Facebook Live. We're just establishing ourselves as a credible and viable expert in our niche. And also what this does is this, is our, this gives us an opportunity to work the bugs out of what it is we have to share. Then we're going to take that information and create a mini email course in a four-part video series. Then we're going to try to get interviewed on somebody else's podcast because they've got a following that you want. So we're going to take that Facebook live session, that shareable article, that mini email course, and we're going to turn that into an interview where people can ask us some valuable questions. And we're going to answer specific questions. To, we're going to give specific answers to specific questions. Then we're going to host a contest or a giveaway. This is a great way to fill up our database, and then we're going to go fishing. We're going to join various Facebook groups, and we're going to begin uh, helping those folks in those Facebook groups, and you're, going to, you're just going to find that there's going to be several people in that group that you're going to be able to reach out to via direct message, and you're going to be able to offer your goods and services to them. In fact, this week I did that. This has been my largest financial week of being an internet marketer that I've ever, ever had in the history of doing this in three years. The reason is, is because I forgot about some of these steps and I made a promise after week two that I was going to go back and implement every single one of these. And I've done four of the seven and folks listen to me. I have made a lot of money this week by doing these seven, by doing four of these seven steps. And the biggest one that I did was number seven. I went in to the click funnels and to the webinar jam rooms and I've just been helping a ton of people and I have had so many people I'm talking in the neighborhood of 60 to 70 people reach out to me and ask to pay me for my services it's an incredible way to do it we said there is no better way though to grow your list or sell your product than with a webinar webinars are the best thing and so last week we got into this and we said that there's a specific flow to webinars where we have the pre-party where as people are logging on to a webinar we're engaging with them proving that we're real we're becoming personal to them because people want to buy from people not from programs and then there's the welcome where we give the title and the agenda, but we give them the big promise that if they stick around, you're going to be able to help them solve an extraordinary problem. Then you give the house rules, the cell phones, the bandwidth, the worksheets, but really the reason why you're doing that is because you want to begin engaging them in the chat room because in webinars, people want to talk to people and the more they're engaged, the more likely they are to stick around. Then we're going to give that hook. We're going to create tension and then we're going to resolve that tension throughout our broadcast. We're going to introduce ourselves, tell who you are, tell your story, and this is going to offer credibility and trust. And then you're going to offer social proof. You're going to give five or six or seven testimonies 
of, of how your product is helped people, you haven't even given them a product yet. But when you can give social proof, they know that they are in the presence of an expert and they want to learn from an expert. Then you go into your core teaching. This is the main teaching. This is what they signed up for. And folks, you've got to give your best stuff away. Give it, give it, give it away. Be extraordinarily gener generous with your stuff. Give it away. Don't sell it. Give your best stuff away. And I promise you that it'll have an aha moment with your students, with your students and with your audience. And they're going to say, wow, if his paid stuff or if her paid stuff is that, or excuse me, if her free stuff or his free stuff is that good, I can only imagine how amazing their paid stuff is. And they will buy your products, I promise you. Then you move to the pitch. This is where you have a solid transition. And you move them from your paid stuff to, to the pitch by saying, listen, that's all fine and dandy, but I want to tell you how this can help you. And now you make it very personal to them. And you close. And you remember you close them by giving five or six or seven imagine statements. You know, whatever you're talking on or whatever you're pitching, but, but just imagine. So if, if I was creating a launch thing, I would say, you know, just imagine what it would be like to finally have your product out to the world. Imagine what it would be like to have a landing page that is selling your information that you can run Facebook ads to and people can actually pull out their credit card and buy your stuff. Imagine what it would be like to live the, lifetime, the laptop lifestyle. Imagine what it would be like to have a secondary income that rivals your first income. What kind of freedom and flexibility would that give, give to you? Imagine what it would like, be like to actually write your letter of resignation and go into your JLB and give it to your boss. See, that's the close. You give the close by giving imagine and what if statements and then you make the offer here's what I have now remember I haven't told them a price yet I'm just introducing them to my magic bullet here's my offer that I move to the risk reversal where I'm making guarantees for with folks and I'm telling them I promise you this is gonna work and if it doesn't I'm gonna give you a hundred percent of your money back hey listen I'm gonna do a risk reversal I promise you that, that if you can't figure this out, you're going to have my personal email or my personal Facebook or my personal cell phone, and I'm going to walk you through it personally. That's the risk reversal. You are reversing all of the reasons why they have to say no. Then you go to the scarcity. And you say, hey, you got to buy this in the next 15 minutes, or you have to buy this by midnight tonight, or hey, my cart's closing in the next six days, and once it's closed, it's gone. You offer scarcity because people are more apt to purchase when they feel like the product is scarce. It's simply the law of supply and demand. If we feel like there's a ton of it, ah, we'll take our time buying it. But if we feel like there's only a little bit of it, we're going to go and we're going to get it get it right now and we're gonna offer bonuses and last week we talked about the five bonuses that you have to have in every webinar and then finally after all of that then we're gonna tell them the price and we're gonna ask them to purchase and we're gonna put that 15 minute countdown clock on to offer that scarcity and then we're gonna answer questions we're gonna do Q&A why the countdown is running but we said every good webinar has got to be organized yeah, it has to have an enthusiastic presentation. It's got to be well designed. There's got to be a really good slide deck. There's got to be a handout that you can give people where they can follow along. And that handout should offer tons and tons and tons of value. And that handout also should have a link to your offer in case people ditch you early. Okay? Uh, you need to have good equipment. You need to have a nice microphone. Uh, and uh, we told you you don't have to spend a lot of money on that because every iPhone comes with an incredible headset and microphone that you can use to offer your webinar. If you're going to be on camera, have a good webcam. Don't just use a chintzy one or a cheesy one. Use a good one. If you don't have a 2016 or 2017 uh, computer or laptop, don't use the built-in webcams because they're trash. Go buy for $15, $20, or $30. Go buy a good webcam that you can clip to the top of your, of your computer. Make sure your background looks really good. Get a scarcity timer. I gave you one of those for free last week in the bonuses. And make sure you've created your five bonuses. Those should be really difficult because in the content creation that we created, remember in our, in our, in our list building class where we have seven things we're going to create, you can just turn all of those, transition those right into your bonuses and then write well-written follow-up emails. And we talked about the emails that you need to fill up your funnel and we talked about the emails that you need in order to make sales after your funnel. And we said that 50% of all your sales will come after your webinar, not on 
your webinar. So up to this point, folks, we should have created a lot of deliverables. We're well on our way to launching our program. We've already created our value proposition. We've created our value ladder. We know who we want to work with because we filled out that avatar worksheet. We've created our 11P strategic operation process or strat op as I call it. We built our opt-in funnel. We have our three-part email follow-up sequence done. We've already created our lead magnet. Maybe we've given it to Fiverr or to 99designs to design it to make sure it looks good. We've written our shareable article. We've done our Facebook Live or are getting ready to do our Facebook Live. We did our mini email series or our four-part video series. And then last week, as we learned, we created our webinar funnel, which is the re registration page and the confirmation page. I gave you a funnel to do that. And then we created our webinar script that follows, that takes that flow that we gave you last week and creates a beautifully well-designed script that's going to be able to nurture our folks all the way from helping to getting them to pull out their credit card and buying your product. And then we created our webinar onboarding and follow-up email sequence. And woo, that brings us to... Class number six, which is all systems go. Remember, we've already created the launch pad. We found riches in the niches. We built our money list. We forged that virtual relationship. Last week, we talked about the webinar. But listen, folks, today, it's all about tech. Class six, all systems go. I can tell you that there's nothing more frustrating to a launch than a technology fail. I mean, think about it. You've done all of these steps. You've put all this time, energy, effort in building your product. You've got your emails written. You've got your landing pages looking beautiful. You've got your webinar script ready to go. You are just simply ready and you go to launch and boom, you have a dud because technology fails. Here's what we know about technology. Technology is typically where people throw their money away. Either they spend way too much money on technology that they don't really need, or they skimp on what they really do need. But either way, these extremes cause us to throw a ton of money away. And what I want to tell you about technology is that in the 21st century, in 2017 where we stand, you can spend as much money as you want on technology, you can spend a ton of money on technology, or you can actually launch a product with technology that's 100% free, and both will suffice. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you a little bit of both, a hybrid of technology, and we're going to get our hands dirty today, if that's fine, and we're going to go in and we're going to set up, we're going to, I'm going to take you behind the scenes, and we're going to set up all the technology that you need to make your program work. I'm going to get in and I'm going to do tutorials on everything that you need. And once again, every technological platform has built-in videos where if you miss something and I don't do a good enough job explaining it, you can go in and get their built-in video and you can do it. Or you can reach out to their customer support and they will help you. So let's get messy. And if you want to comment at any time, if I'm going too fast or if you have a particular question, uh, you can simply refer to the chat room and I will get to you as quickly as possible. Well, let's get right now to uh, what we're calling the tools, okay? The tools of the trade. What is it that you need in order to pull off uh, an incredible launch? Well, this one here should be no surprise to you. This is ClickFunnels because I am a big fan of ClickFunnels. I design for ClickFunnels um, and uh, I just think it's the best tool that any designer or any online marketer, or any author or any speaker, or any consultant or any anybody, anyone who's got a business, ClickFunnels is hands down the best platform that you can use and it'll run you about $97 a month but it'll give you pretty much everything that you need. $97 a month, folks, that's your rent, okay? If your rent is only 97 bucks a month, you've got a really good business. Imagine, you know, if you had to go down and rent a storefront, that could cost you $800, $2,000. This costs you 97 bucks, but look at it as your rent. I gave you an affiliate link, and I'm asking everyone, if you don't have ClickFunnels, to sign up using my affiliate link because that affiliate link allows allows me to offer my programs at a dirt cheap rate, if not for free. In fact, most of you have gotten a lot of my free stuff. This class, Launch 28, I'm offering to you at no charge, even though I typically would charge $1,000 for it, I'm offering it to you at no charge. One, because you are incredible and you're an early adopter and you signed up 
for our uh, our uh, launch 28 or for our launch fuel program but second because many of you have become click funnels affiliates and click funnels pays me an affiliate fee to teach you so I want to you I want you to use click funnels affiliate if you got click funnels and and you really haven't done a lot with it I still want you to use it I want you to cancel your account and use my my uh, affiliate link because it keeps me in business and I can offer you a ton of value and it lets me give you all these funnels for free which you normally would have to go pay two hundred and ninety seven dollars for uh, in the uh, in the marketplace I can give these to you for free and you'll end up with five funnels for me uh, just for signing up with my affiliate link so hey, listen folks I think that's a really good trade it doesn't cost you any more money ClickFunnels pays me and I give you about fifteen hundred dollars worth of free funnels plus all this free training to me it's a, it's a good uh, it's a good trade-off so click funnels so let's go in right now and I'm gonna bring you behind the scenes and we're going to look at click funnels just for a second if you don't have click funnels you really need it okay and so what you'll do is you'll go in and you'll use uh, the affiliate link and if you don't have an affiliate link if you don't have my affiliate link let me just jump on here real quick I'm going to copy and I will paste that in the chat room uh, so you can have it and I'll also make sure that you uh, I'll put it in the room of um, on the Facebook page as well so you have that but click funnels you can get a free 14 day trial so you can just test it out no sense of spending all your money if you don't know whether it's gonna work or not and so you jump on here and you get a free 14 day trial so I'm gonna put that link my affiliate link they're, they are going to pay me a commission if you buy this. If it's if it's just a free trial, I don't get anything. But you really want that because it really helps me a lot save you a ton of money. So I put that link in there, and I'll also put that in the Facebook page here in just a little bit as well. So for those of you who are watching this on demand, you won't have access to the chat room, but you will be able to see that link in our Facebook page. So what you're going to do is you're going to come here, and let me show you my internet now. You're gonna you're gonna come here and you're going to set up your click funnels. And the way this works, and hopefully you guys can see this, but the way this works is you're gonna just simply go to um, clickfunnels.com. You would paste that link, my affiliate link, just paste it in your URL. If you've already signed up for it before and you don't have an account, make sure you enroll with a different email address. If you do have an account, but you don't really have any funnels in there or whatever, I want you to cancel ClickFunnels, and I want you to restart with your free 14-day trial. We'll start fresh, and that's gonna let me help you for, um, uh, help you help me do things like this for free but when you come in you log in you're gonna be able to sign in and it's gonna bring you to a page like this after you sign in okay and you're gonna be able to go to funnels and you're going to be able to build funnels now I'm not going to come in here and try to help you build a funnel or anything right now that's another class for another day But what I do want to do is I want to show you how to get all of this set up so what you're gonna need is we're gonna browse a funnel and then I'm gonna open up a funnel that I have shared with you uh, let me look at my shared funnels. I'm going to open up a funnel that I shared with you um, so you, we can be on the same page. Um, bum, bum, bum. I'm going to just, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just grab, uh, I think it's this one here, this application funnel. Yes. Okay, and if you saw Russell, this is just a generic funnel. If you saw Russell Brunson's viral video, you know that they do a lot with these naked squirrels. It's really funny. And uh, so this is one of their naked squirrel funnels. This is called an application funnel. And we're just gonna use this as our template today. This could be your particular funnel or whatever. But a couple things that you're gonna do to make sure that it's all set up. Okay, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do and pay attention to this is you're gonna want to have your own domain. Now you'll notice this right here, they've got a domain for you, but who in the world wants to give a domain like this? HTTPS slash slash growchurch.clickfunnels.com slash reverse dash squeeze page dash page e, uh, UR2R31RE. Ugh, nobody wants that on their business card. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to do, uh, how to integrate this. So what you'll do is you're simply going to go to account right here at the top of your page. And folks, if you're in the room, if you don't mind just muting your microphone for me, that'd be great. That way we don't hear all that background noise. That'd be beautiful. But you go to account and you just simply scroll down here and you're, what you're looking for is you're looking for custom domain. Okay. Now, if you don't have a domain, this is perfect. You can go to custom domain. Okay. If you, if you have one, I'll show you how to integrate that, but let's pretend you don't have one and we're going to add 
a, a new domain. Now the nice thing is, is you can either register a domain or you can add your domain. And so for right now, we're gonna find your domain. The beautiful thing about ClickFunnels is it's brand spanking new, but you can actually use them. You don't need GoDaddy or any of them anymore. You can actually use uh, ClickFunnels to register your domain. And that's what we're gonna do on here, okay? And then in a little bit, I'm gonna show you if you already have your domain, I'm gonna show you how to integrate that as well. But you'll just simply click the Find Your Domain button and then search domains. This is one that you want. So let's see if they have the funnel guy, okay? Now some of these, um, some of these domains are a little tricky because uh, they, they may take a little bit to get. So it looks like the funnelguy.com is already taken. Let's see if funnel guy. Uh, funnelguy.com is taken. All these are available. Let's try, what's, what would be another one? How about the launch guy? Okay, let's see if the launch guy is available. Nope, the launch guy is not available either. Uh, I think it's because I own it. Uh, launchguide.com is not available. So let's try, how about, um, uh, let's just, I'll just take the, I'm gonna just take the launch guy and we're gonna go for, what, dot net. Okay, we'll just try that. So you hit the get button and it takes a little bit of time, okay? But it says hot diggity dang, the launch guy is available and you just simply use your free domain. You just click here. And this is once again, if you don't have a domain, uh, this is what you do. It says, oops, something went wrong. Please try again or contact support. If you have issues, of course it goes wrong because we are live today. Uh, so I'm gonna try this again. Nope, it's not working. So skip that process. I'm gonna show you the old school way of doing it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go in here and you're going to go to, remember what we said is uh, the first tool you need is ClickFunnels. You're gonna come in here and you're going to go to custom domain settings right here, click that. And then uh, you're gonna add a new domain if you have a new one. But let's say that you have an, uh, you have an, an, an older one. Okay, and I do, I have a bunch of them uh, here. And you can see these, and we're gonna set up, um, well, all these are really set up, but I'm gonna just show you if you have your own. Uh, you're gonna come in here, and you're going to add a new domain, and you're gonna use existing domain, okay? So use an existing domain, and let's see. Let me see what domains I have that we can use for a sample. So I'm gonna go to my GoDaddy. That's where I have all my domains registered and I'm going to go to sign in. I'm going to put in my credentials. This is important too because if most of you will register your domains on, Do on GoDaddy, you'll need, to, you'll need to know this, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to your domains area, okay? Go to my products and then go to domains and then so let's see. I'm going to register marketingmachine.org, okay? Marketingmachine.org. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to come back to my ClickFunnels tab and I'm gonna put in marketingmachine.org and I'm gonna add that domain, okay? It says how to connect your domain. Um, this is really important. You're gonna want this target.clickfunnels.com. It says in order for your custom domain to work, you're gonna need to log in where you bought your domain and add a C name record that points to target.clickfunnels.com. Okay, so what I do is I actually go to a program called Cloudflare, and this is a program that you need. Once again, the nice thing about this is it's absolutely free. Okay, so you go to Cloudflare, and you set up your account, and then once you get your account set up, you're gonna log in. Okay, so I logged in here, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. Okay, I'm gonna take a step-by-step, -step. it's really simple, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna start up here at the top where it says Add Site. I'm going to click on the ad site, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in that marketingmachine.org, and I'm going to begin the scan. Now, this is a quick and easy process. It doesn't take a long time. It takes about 30 seconds in order for this to populate, but what this is doing, it's scanning it, and it's just making sure that you know it's available. They don't want you going on and trying to set up a domain that doesn't work, so it's going in to make sure it's available. And it's going in the backside, figuring out who you have it hosted with, et cetera. So just remember, this, this, this one is hosted with um, GoDaddy. That's who I have this hosted with. And um, of course, I need to update this because it's going to expire soon. But I have it hosted with Don't GoDaddy, and we're going to see this in a minute. Why that's loading, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to click my D, or I'm going to click my Manage button right here. 
okay? And it's gonna help me manage this and I'm gonna need this for a little bit later. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that populated and you'll see why here in just a moment, okay? But let's go back to Cloudflare. Okay, so we can see that's already completed and I'm gonna hit continue setup. Now remember these steps, you're going to need them. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come here. This looks a little tricky, but it's simple. You're gonna come here and you're gonna erase everything but a C name. Okay, so you're gonna come over here and this, this one starts this type as an A and you're gonna exit it out and say okay. These MX ones down here, you're gonna close, you're gonna exit both of those out, okay? And you should be left with three C names. We're not gonna set up email through Cloudflare, so we're gonna go ahead and exit that one as well. And we don't really need to use them as an FTP, so we're gonna exit that one as well, okay? But the first thing you're gonna do is you need to come here on this little drop down menu and you need to click C name. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the at sign right here and then you're gonna tell it to go somewhere and you're gonna go target dot click funnels.com make sure you don't misspell that and hit add record okay and then the next thing you can do is you're just going to copy this target that click funnels.com i'm going to erase this you can erase this c name here even though we're going to re-add it here in a minute and then you're going to come back here in the name and you're going to type www and then you're going to put target.clickfunnels.com and hit add record so here we are we have www is an alias of target.clickfunnels and marketingmachine.org is a target of ClickFunnels. And then if, if, these, if these little clouds right here are gray, you wanna click on them and make them catapult orange, okay? And then hit the continue button, pretty simple. Now on this page right here, you can spend money if you want to, but there's no need, just go to the free website. You can get as many as these you want, they're unlimited. And then you can come here and you're gonna see that it's gonna tell you the next step is to change your name servers to en.ns.cloudflare.com and to michelle.ns.cloudflare.com. So I'm just gonna highlight Ian, I'm gonna copy him. I just do that by hitting Command C on my Mac or Control C on my PC. And I'm gonna come over here back to GoDaddy. Remember, we're, this is the manage my domains. And I'm gonna scroll down here until I see this manage DN. S, okay? DNS stands for Domain Name Server. So I'm gonna click that Manage DNS, I'm gonna click that button. It's gonna take me just a minute here, and I'm gonna scroll down, and I see my Name Servers tab, and I'm going to come here, and I'm gonna hit Change, because remember, we have to make that Ian and that Michelle, so I'm gonna hit Change, and then I'm gonna go Custom, and then I'm gonna just simply type in Ian right there, I'm gonna type in Ian again here, and I'm just gonna highlight Ian. I'm gonna, I know that I need to change him to Michelle. So Ian.ns Cloud Server and Michelle.ns Cloudflare, and then I can hit Add Name Server, and it's, it's gonna go. Oh, actually, I didn't mean to do that. I actually, let me see if I can remove that. Okay, I actually meant to hit Save. Just hit Save right there, okay? Save, now don't do anything. It says features may be unavailable while we process your updates, that's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to that in just a minute. So now we're gonna go back to our Cloudflare. Where are you at Cloudflare? Cloudflare right here. Okay, and we're not gonna, we're not, we, we see this right here, and we're just gonna simply hit the continue button, okay? We're gonna continue it, and we're not gonna check for this right now. We're gonna, we're gonna let that populate. If you, if you check for the name servers right now, it's gonna say not active. It'll take, it, and it takes a little bit sometimes. Sometimes it's three or four minutes, sometimes it could be upwards of an hour but we're gonna come up here and do a few things. So you've got all these boxes at the top. Don't be scared by them because you're not gonna use most of them. But what you're gonna do, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go into page rules. This one here, page rules, and you're going to create, so it says get started, don't, don't worry about that button. You're gonna come here and create a page rule. Now, this is interesting. What you're gonna do, so we'll see what it says, this right here, you're gonna just type in your domain. So remember what our domain is. Our domain was marketingmachine.org. So we're gonna go www.marketingmachine.org, and then I'm gonna slash, that's the slash just forward slash just below the question mark, and then I'm going to hit the asterisk sign, okay? So marketingmachine.org slash asterisk sign. And by using this little asterisk, you're creating a dynamic pattern that's gonna match so many URLs, okay? So if they just, you know, if, if they type in something that's close, you know, it's gonna be able to forward it to them, okay? And then what do we wanna do? We wanna pick a setting and we're gonna forward the URL, okay? 
So if they type in www.marketingmachine.org, we want to forward that. So we're going to forward the URL right here, and then you're going to make this a permanent redirect, and it's going to ask you where do you want it to go. So what you're going to do is you're going to go HTTPS colon slash slash, and you simply are going to take your marketingmachine.org. That's your, now notice I didn't put www on it because there's already www up here. So HTTPS marketingmachine.org. Now this is going to be funny. I'm going to go slash then dollar sign one. So it looks like one dollar. It's really goofy, I know, but that's what you do. Okay. So what's going to happen is if they go to www, it's going to forward them to this marketingmachine.org and you're going to hit save and deploy. That's it. Save and deploy. Okay. So now we're going to go save and deploy that. Takes about 10 seconds or so for that to save and deploy. Great. So now what I'm going to do then is I'm going to come over here to my DNS. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to come over here to my overview page and I'm going to recheck the name service. It's probably not going to let me do it right now, but I'm going to recheck the name service. Oh, it worked. Bam. And so now it says active. Okay. Active. So now marketingmachine.org is active and I can get out of Cloudflare. Nothing I need to do with them anymore. So I now go back to ClickFunnels, okay? And then now we're gonna tell it that we've done this step, okay? We've already done this, we, I've done this step. And it's gonna check, <laughs> it says let's check that your domain is connected and you're going to hit check now, okay? It says we haven't been able to verify that your domain is connected. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to say, uh, if I can, they've changed a lot of stuff, so, but I'm gonna, I think they can do that. We're gonna say, okay, check again. And once again, this may take a little while for that to go through, okay? But I think, I think, I think, I think I can change that. Hmm. I should be able to use, so let's go back to custom mode domains. Okay. And then this one here is pending and let's go settings. Can I go settings here? Let me look. This is all brand new. This is all brand new stuff. They just changed this a couple of days ago and uh, we haven't done it. So I think what they're telling me to do is I need to go to GoDaddy and do that. Let me see if I can go to GoDaddy and do that. Once again, I apologize for this being a little bit ugly, but this is all brand new with um, this is all brand new. What I'm supposed to be able to do. I may have to call support to figure out the change in that. So we may have to come back and redo this part of the video because normally what I normally do is I just come here and I, that's typically is very simple. I normally just come here and I connect it, tell it where to go and it's typically all I need to do. So I will come back to this part right here and I'll do a secondary video for you so you can see exactly how to connect this to, to uh, ClickFunnels, okay? Um, so, but I'm gonna go back to my, my funnel, okay? This, this one here, this reverse, this uh, reverse squeeze page one here. And I think that this was the, um, this, this application funnel right here. Okay, perfect. And so what I would do is I would go to settings and I'm going to pick a domain, okay? And typically the domain you just set up is all the way at the bottom, which is marketingmachine.org. It says it's not completed yet, but let's say that it was, pretend that it was set up. And then what you're going to do is on this path right here, this is the initial path. Now there's something you have to keep in mind about click funnels and paths. You can only use that path one time on every funnel that you create. So if you say home, this is the only website that you can ever say home, okay? You can't ever use that one again. So you may need, you may need to be tricky. So I'm gonna say marketingmachine.org and let's make, let's make uh, this path here 
And, and also, you don't need to put a path on the first page, okay? So let's leave that blank just for a second, and I'll show you what I'll show you what it does. So you can come here, and you're going to scroll all the way down, and you'll see this page in a minute. I'm going to save my settings, okay? Then remember, I made the first one blank, so I need to go to the second level, which is publishing, funnel step name, reverse squeeze page, and I need to make that one blank. Just simply delete it, update funnel steps. And then my third step is I need to come to this little gear step right here and I need to come here and I need to make that one blank and I can update the page the page step okay so now they're all three on the same level but let's say that I did want to put one in there so let's say I wanted one so let's say that we're gonna come here go marketingmachine.org and we're gonna put home okay home page okay what I like to do is I like to I like to do like home dash page that way it gives me a few more options so I just simply copy that path home dash page I come all the way down I save my settings and then I go to publishing once again I go to the path and I paste that so it says home dash page and I update my funnel and then I go to this little gearbox click on that and I copy the path and I paste it the home dash page and then I update it and now what you see is you see now that this website is pointing to marketingmachine.org slash homepage. Now, I don't think this is live right now. I'm pretty sure it's not live right now. Okay. So we're going to go here. Yep, it's not live. And I'm going to find out what's happening with that one little step that I'm missing. So, but that's how you set up a domain with the exception of that one piece that I will find out for you in just a moment. Okay. If you ever need help, though, you can go right here to this help tab and click funnels and you can type something in so I'm gonna type in Cloudflare okay and it's gonna say um, so I'm gonna say set up domain using Cloudflare okay I already know how to do that one And we're going to come here. So we're going to follow his instructions, and it's going to tell that it could take 24 minutes here. He's got a video. But basically what he's going to say is you're going to go to My Account Settings, Custom Domain Names, Add New Domain. We did that. Okay. Log into your domain registrar account. Okay. Add CNAME record. Configure your ClickFunnels page, which we sort of, we sort of did that. Okay. So I'm gonna have to go back here and, and see what we're doing wrong. But anyway, that's how you set up a domain with the exception of that one step, okay? Now I wanna do is I wanna move on now to the next page. So what you need is you need ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is gonna allow you to build everything in here, all of your landing pages, squeeze pages, application pages, and in our illustration today, it's gonna to let you do all of your emails, it's your contact database, it's the one thing you need, you don't need anything else, you need ClickFunnels, okay? Now, ClickFunnels, second thing now is Cloudflare, I already showed you that. Okay, we may not need Cloudflare. I'm gonna go look at that. We may be able to take that out. But the third step then is Stripe. Now, what is Stripe? You guys probably are gonna to wanna to get paid for your work, right? You're gonna to wanna to get paid. So what you gotta do is you have to come to Stripe right here, and you got to create an account, okay? Now, I'm not gonna walk you through this because it's really simple. It's absolutely free, but you come here and you create an account with Stripe. It's a few steps, a few processes. You link up your your bank account to it, uh, very simple, you create a Stripe account, okay? Once you've created your Stripe account, now let me show you how to integrate it. Okay, so you're gonna come in and you're gonna sign in, okay? And I've got my name and username in there, so I sign in, and a lot of times, uh, it won't let you sign in, a lot of times what it will do is it will send a, um, it will send a, uh, a link that you have got to log that you got to be able to log into okay but let's go to let's say we're gonna create a new account okay and so let's say that this new account is gonna be called launch fuel okay I'm just making it up so create new account okay I think you can have up to five accounts in here okay launch fuel you're gonna hit the get started button okay and then um, right now it's in 
it's, it's test data, okay? So it's all in testing mode right now, okay? But this is, the, this is the one, let's say, that we've got integrated, and this is the account that we need. So next thing we do, we wanna activate our account. So it's gonna ask you some questions. You come on here and you fill out all these questions and you activate account. Now, I'm not gonna do any of that right now because it's not important, and also, I don't want you to see all my personal stuff. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna take an account that we already have set up, and I'm gonna take my Radius Impact account, okay? And we're gonna integrate my Radius Impact account with uh, everything else, okay? So Radius Impact, that's the one that we're gonna do. So I can get out of Stripe right now. Once I've activated my account, I don't really need to be in Stripe. But now let me show you how to hook it up. So you're gonna to go to, the, to, the, to the, the funnel that you want, and you go to this big settings tab right here. And you're, this is in ClickFunnels. You're in ClickFunnels, and we're going to integrate Stripe with ClickFunnels. Pretty simple process. You're going to come down here, and you may notice as you're scrolling down, the very first thing you see is Stripe, okay? Stripe is your payment gateway. Now, some of you may say, well, I have PayPal. Can I use PayPal? You can. It's just tricky, okay? You can come down here. You can, you can get into all this mess if you want to. I say don't do it. Stay away from it. Use PayPal for other things, but for all of your online stuff, use Stripe. The reason why you want to use Stripe is Stripe is very trustworthy. Stripe's got an incredible reputation. Everything is secure, and they are super simple. All the other ones are very complicated, okay? So we go Stripe. We're going to go to... And we're going to find, okay, and we're going to use our radius impact. Remember, that's the one we set up. So we just come here and find the one we want, radius impact. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and I'm going to save that. And just like that, kapow, my stripe is integrated. Now, there's one other thing that we've got to do that I'll show you in a little bit later when we get to our order form, but stripe is integrated. So we got ClickFunnels set up. Cloudflare is set up, Stripe is set up. Now the next one that we need is SendGrid. Now what is SendGrid? SendGrid uh, is if you want to send emails via ClickFunnels, you need something like SendGrid or Amazon, not, not the Amazon that you know, but the, the, the big online um, merchant uh, S3 company called Amazon. Uh, it's the same company, but it's a whole different product or you need Mandrel. I recommend SendGrid because it is just simple, okay, simple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to SendGrid, okay? So you just go to SendGrid.com. You can come on here and you can create a, uh, you can see their plans and pricing. I think it's $10 a month, okay? So you come here, so you get 10,000 emails a month for $10, okay? 10 bucks a month, that's all you pay. $9.95 for everything, and that will get you up to, I think, 20,000 contacts, um, or 40, so you, you can send 40,000 emails a month. I don't think you'll ever send 40,000 emails a month. You may, if you have a big enough uh, database, you could send 40,000 emails a month, but you can also come here, and I think it allows you to put up to 2,000 contacts in your marketing campaign without any additional cost. So that's a lot of contacts. If you have 2,000 people in your database, you can afford the next step up, which is I think $20, okay? But you're gonna get started, you're gonna set up your account. I'm not gonna do that with you because I already have an account set up, but you go through the process, you select the 9.95 and bam, now you have your, now you have it set up. So what you're gonna do then is you're gonna come here, you're gonna set up your send grid with this. So you go to the account tab, this is in ClickFunnels, okay? and you're in the main ClickFunnels, you just go to your account, you're gonna come down, and you're gonna see SMTP settings, okay? SMTP settings, these are your email settings for this. And what you're gonna do is you're going to come here and you're going to set up SendGrid, okay? You're gonna set up uh, SendGrid to your ClickFunnels, okay? Now you may notice that I've already done that, okay? First funnel free SendGrid. Okay, and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna come in here, you, you click the setup button, and it's gonna ask you to fill out this information, the title, the name, the email, the servers, okay, so it's SMT port, and what I'm gonna tell you is all of this information right here is actually when you come here to, let me see if I can, I'm gonna see if I can 
trick the system. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna risk something, okay? I'm gonna destroy this. I'm gonna destroy my sin grid, okay? It's gone now. Now I'm gonna add an additional one and walk you through it, okay? So we're gonna call this, we're gonna call this uh, launch fuel, so you can see it, okay? And it's gonna, it's, so that's the title of the integration. And who do I want the email coming from? I want it to come from Chad Thibodeau. And my email address is chad at firstfunnelfree.com. So that's where the, so the name is me, the email is that, and the SMTP. Oh my gosh, what is the SMTP? How am I ever gonna find the SMTP? I'm like, hmm, okay, where do I find the SMTP servers, okay? So what I do is I can just come right down here, okay? And I can go to the, oh, where did my click funnels? I can go to the, uh, I'm going to close this out. We'll get back in it. I can go to the account button right here, and I can go to the help. I'm sorry, I can go to the help button, and I can just simply type in, watch this, send grid right here and what you're going to find is is integrate send grid you're going to click on this and you're going to notice that he's going to open up a form and just below the form is all the information that you need okay so we go back to our click funnels we're going to add this oh. we're going to add this oh i lost it already so launch launch fuel it's going to come from chad thibodeau this is going to come from chat at first funnel free. Okay. And then the SIM grid server. Where do I find this? Well, I go right here. This is SMTP server is smtp.syngrid.net. I just simply copy that. I come back here and I paste it right there. Okay. Make sure there's no spaces in this. Okay. Okay. And I look here, and then it says port 587. So I copy 587. I come right here to the port number, and I put 587. And it says SMTP user. I come right here, and it says your user send grid name. Okay. Now, my user send grid name is, I think, I can't remember. Let me look. My user send grid name is... I think it's um, right here. Your username is right here. So I think it's Chad Thibodeau. So I'll be able to copy that and type that right there. And then I can put my password in, okay? And then I can go to my domain right here, okay? And then I look right here at my domain, okay? And the domain is syngrid.net. So I just copy that and paste that. And then you get to this part here where it's the footer. Okay. Now, if you go here to back to ClickFunnels, you can copy. You have to have a footer in here to be compliant with the law. So you can copy this sample footer, paste it right there. But then you need to come in and you need to change a few things. One, you need to put your company name. So my company name is called the Catapults Crew, and then I need to put my address in here, the city, state, and zip code. Okay. So I put 550 West Baseline Road. That's, and then I have a suite number, number 102-348. That's Mesa, Arizona, 85210. Okay? And then the next thing you may notice is they're asking for your phone number. You have to include a phone number in here uh, if you want to have high deliverability. And if you're going to also do international, you really have to have this. So I just put that in, and I'm going to put my office number which I can't remember what it is right now, so let me pull it up. So I go to first funnel, oh, firstfunnelfree.com. I can come here and I can take my, find my office number, which I think is all the way down at the bottom of my website. And it is, I can take my number, copy that, and I go back to SendGrid, and I just simply pop it in right here. Okay. And I can take the dots out because you don't want it to seem like a phone number because if you do, those crazy spam people get it and they call you, okay? And they've got this coding in here. You need to leave that coding in there. You need to leave all this coding in here because it'll format it and make it look pretty good, okay? And then for you, you can make it your default. For me, I don't. I have another one. But before you hit create, you want to verify that everything is right. So you hit this little verify button. 
and it says emails are all good. We sent you an email and then you hit the create button. Bam, so now launch fuel is created and so we need Syngrid. I'll show you how, why that comes important. The fifth one that we need, and I think there's seven, is we need Webinar Jam and Ever Webinar. Okay, Webinar Jam and Ever Webinar. Okay, now there are other platforms that you can do webinars on. I prefer this one because I think it is the best. Now, if you don't want to spend any money on that, you do not have to. You can you can actually just use what we're on right now, which is Zoom. Uh, and Zoom is free, and Zoom also has a Zoom webinar, okay? So if you go to Zoom webinar, you can come here, zoom.us slash webinar, and you can see here, and you can buy it, but you can see that it's as low as $55 a month for only 100 attendees. That's a lot of money, because Webinar Jam is $500 for the whole year. Okay, and you can have unlimited attendees and unlimited webinars and unlimited everything. So I don't recommend you do that. But if you're not going to have a ton of people on, you know, if you're, if you're going to have less than 100 people on, then you don't need to use Zoom webinars. You can just simply use Zoom just like you and I are doing right now. Okay, and you can just go to zoom.us, okay, and you can come on here and you can create a free account, okay? And you can do meetings and video meetings and rooms and instant message and all kinds of things that you that you need right here. You can do that um, right here on this platform for free. Now, why do I recommend you not do that? Because it is a little bit tricky on the integration. You know, to integrate Zoom into ClickFunnels, you have to use what's called Zapier. And Zapier is a, uh, you can zap it. So if you were to come here into your, let's go back to our funnel. If you were to come here into our, our, uh, our little funnel right here, oh, I had him up, into our little application funnel, and you were to scroll down here at the bottom under settings, you can see Zapier right here, and you can figure out, actually, it doesn't even look like they have Zoom on here. So actually, the only way to integrate Zoom with that is to put the link directly into your email. And so it's a little bit messy. I don't recommend it. I recommend you use Webinar Jam. So for the sake of argument, we're going to show you Webinar Jam real quick. So you go into Webinar Jam, and there's an annoying video right at the beginning. I, they need to take this off, so pause that video right at the beginning. Because even when you come in to sign in, it's crazy. So you can sign in, and you, and you can sign up. I have an affiliate link for Webinar Jam. If you'd be kindly enough, I'll give you that webinar li that uh, affiliate link, and you can sign up, and they'll pay me a good commission. Uh, but if, if not, that's okay as well. But I would prefer if you did. So you come in here and you sign up and you can, once you can see, you can make one payment of $479 or you can do three payments of $189, but this is the best webinar platform in the world. I really, really, really recommend it. There's some other ones that are really good as well, okay? Uh, Ever webinar, uh, um, easy webinar. Easy webinar is a really good one as well. Okay, and you can see, you can buy now, and when you buy now, you can see that it's forty-two dollars a month paid annually, so it is pretty spendy. But I can send you a link. Uh, I, I am a, um, I actually uh, am a student of Amy Porterfield's trainings, and I have a link from Amy Porterfield that I can give you that gets, a, I think, 30 or 40% off of that rate. And Amy Porterfield gets the affiliate commission. I don't, but I can, I can give that to you as well. I'm in the process of applying to be an affiliate with these guys, so I can offer this one as well. But this one's pretty good as well, okay? The biggest, dif the biggest difference between Webinar Jam and Easy Webinar even though easy webinar is pretty simple is webinar jam is a standalone platform. Okay. And then, uh, easy webinar, um, you typically have to do through is a, is a WordPress plugin. Um, although they have been talking about, uh, making it a standalone, I'm not sure that it's live yet. So well, let's take a look just to double check for that, but I think it is still a WordPress plugin, but let's look right here and let's, uh, Oh, look at this. No, nope, they are free. They are ready to go. They're not a WordPress plugin anymore. They are a cloud-based hosted webinar platform just like 
Webinar Jam. So either Webinar Jam or Easy Webinar, they're both incredible. I recommend either one of them. Casey Zaman and Mike Vilsane are both the founders of it. They're both incredible guys. I recommend it. But for the sake of our demonstration today, we're going with Webinar Jam because that's what I use, and so and that's what I recommend that you use. So we go to WebinarJam.com, and we shut Mike up because he's really annoying, okay? And we come in, and we, we can sign up, okay? But I've already signed up, so I'm going to come in, and I'm going to become a member. Or I'm going to come in and, and look at uh, look at my thing. Now, when you come in and, and, and log in, okay, yours is going to look different because you are um, you are new. I'm sort of old school, so I'm going to go back to my old ones. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just we're going to set up a webinar real quick. It'll take literally two seconds. Webinar Jam Studio. Make sure that's ticked. I'm going to click New Webinar button. Okay, I'm going to show you how fast and quick this is, and we're going to configure it to Click Funnels. This is the tech. So webinar name this is going to be called launch fuel okay uh, the webinar title you can get fancy if you want to but for the sake of argument we're going to call it webinar fuel or launch fuel and then the de description is chad thibodeau is going to teach you how to launch your product in 28 days or less and you'll see why those are important okay we want english and we want it on demand or we don't want to list it. Uh, we can make an on demand if we want to. And I just come down here and I put it in the marketing. Every once in a while, this will get you a free, you know, this will get you a free uh, listing. They just put it in their directory is all it does. Okay, not necessary. And you hit that save button, you move to the webinar schedule. So when are we gonna do our webinar? We can do it right now if we wanted to, but let's schedule it, okay? So we're gonna do a single presentation or a series of presentations. We're gonna do a single presentation. And we're going to sign up and we're going to do that presentation. Let's say we want to do it on the 28th of September. We set the 28th. And what time do we want it? We want it to be at, uh, let's say, 4 p.m. Okay. And then what time zone? We're going to do it Pacific time zone because that's where I'm at. And then we're going to hit the add button. And we can add more if we want to, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to hit the save button. Okay, and then now we're going to connect it to our YouTube. Okay, so we come here. Now I'm already connected. But you have to have a YouTube account. YouTube is through Google. So you go on and make sure you have a YouTube account all set up. And then just the one little button right here, you put your username, password, click on the connect button, and you are connected. So you save that, and then you proceed to step two. You'll notice there's 10 steps right here. So the second step is you want to come in, and you want to put your name. You are the presenter. Okay, so I'm Chad Thibodeau, and my email address is there. And then you want to put a little picture on here. So you go change photo, and you go Chad JPEG. Okay, let's see if let's see if I can find a little picture of me. I don't, I don't know if I can. So let's just go to JPEG and see. I just all I want to do is I want to find a picture of me. Just a picture. Just a picture. Just a picture. Um, bum 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 bum. Okay, these are terrible pictures, but that's the one we're using right there. Okay, so we open that, and it loads it. And then you put a bio. You know, Chad is the launch guy. And you spend some time, and you put a bio. And I am the webinar owner, and I am an active speaker. Okay, and then I can add an administrator. Okay, if I have a second person, I can put their information in. And this could just be, a, if, if they're not an active speaker, you just, like, let's say they're just moderating the webinar for you. You have a virtual assistant, you put them in here, and you un untick this button right here. If they're an active speaker, they'll be promoted. If they're not, they won't be promoted, but they'll still get, they'll still get everything, okay? So we save that step, and then we move to step number three. Number three, registration process. Now, this is where we're gonna connect it with ClickFunnels. Okay, so we go back to our ClickFunnels, and let's say that this was our webinar. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm just pull up a webinar. Okay, we're gonna pull up a webinar template. Remember, I gave you guys one last week, if you remember. Okay, so let's say this is our webinar funnel right here. Okay, let's say that this is not mine. So you want to start gen? This is just a generic one. So let's just say this is the one we're using. I'm making it up. I would not recommend that you use this. But what you do is you. Um, Come, come back here and you want to get the URL, okay? The, where, where you find the URL, okay, um, is right here, okay? Right here, this is your URL. But, you know, we could, like, you know, I have one for one of my clients. It's at Oikos Webinar. You can grab that URL. Whatever you are, wherever your web page is going to, wherever your registration page is going to be hosted, that's what you want to put. So for the sake of argument, we're going to put it right here. We come in here and... Um,
close some windows. Did I accidentally close my webinar jam where I accidentally closed it, so I have to open it back up. Okay. So I'm going to edit this one. So we, we were on step number three, which is presenters. We did that one. So step number four. Presenters, we did that. The next step is registration, registration page and process. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to click this and I can select their landing page if I want to. Okay. Theirs are okay. They're not great. They're okay. But you can come in and select one of theirs and use theirs if you want to. Or you're going to select your own design. And you're going to customize and use this template. And you're going to paste in right here your URL of where your landing page is and you're just going to ask for your first name and email and then you're going to hit the save button you're going to move on to the next level now this is notifications okay this is your emails okay if you, and i recommend at first you send your webinar emails from webinar jam okay so you click on this button and it asks you would you like to add email and 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 text message to your resident and so yes i'm going to click email uh, you can add uh, text if you want to, that's later. You can either use our server or use your server. Let's use their server. And who's the sender's name? So I put my name in here. And my email, I'm going to put chat at first funnelfree.com. Okay. And I proceed. So that's it. That's set up. Now we're going to set up the, the, the emails. Remember last week in the webinar, I told you all of the emails that you need to set, you need to create. And I even gave you some templates for those. So what you're going to do is you're going to come in and you're going to grab those templates and you're going to add it. So the first one is a welcome message. This one's going to be sent immediately upon registration. You hit the add email button. Okay. When do you want that sent? You want it sent immediately and the email subject line. And I like to say, confirmation you're in okay just like that okay and then here you may see a bunch of stuff in their thing I like to literally just come in here and um, you can leave it all there if you want to or you could come in and you could delete it all and that's what I like to do I like to come in kick command a and I like to delete it all and then I paste my email right here so if I was to come in and I was to have a, uh, an email one, okay? So let's say this was the email that I wrote for it. I'm just making it up. I come in here and I paste it right here. Now you may notice that it looks okay, but it doesn't look great, okay? So what you have to do is you have to come in here and you pick the font, whichever one you want. Helvetica is the most common. And I like to do 14, but that may be too big for you, so you could do 12 if you wanted. Okay, but you would come in here and you would set it all up and you may notice there's there's some formatting issues that you're going to have to figure out and fix, but that's okay. But what you want to do is you want to customize this to your folks. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to look down here at the bottom at these shortcuts and you're going to say webinar title, webinar presenter. I want to, I want a name. So attending name right here. You just grab that little guy. Okay. Pound sign, all caps name, pound sign, and you put it right here. And what that's going to do is that's going to populate the name. So it'll say Chad. Okay. Say Chad, thank you for opting in. Now their email thing is really goofy because you'll notice as I'm backspacing and everything, it goofs up a little bit. We'll fix that at the end. Don't worry about it. Now you can put HTML in here if you want to, and it'll all work fine. But for right now, it's, it's not fine. Okay. So we come in here and uh, we, got our email and so let's say that I want to tell them that there is a link you know here's a link to the presentation okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna just grab this pound link pound and I'm gonna paste it here now why would I not just put the URL here because it will go to spam so this link right here populates your webinar link automatically and it's a unique link for every single person who registers for your webinar. And so what that does 
is it, it lets you keep track of whether they showed up or not. Okay, so you can put once again, you can put the title of your webinar right here. So you know, thank you for registering. You know, you can come up here and put you know, dear Mike, thank you for registering for my webinar, and then you can like put the title in there. There's the title right here. Okay. And, uh, and then you can tell them when it is, you know, mark your calendar for, and you can put the date. Okay. Right here. Okay. Put the date in. Okay. And then you can even put, you can put whatever you want. Okay. Just fill this up. Okay. In the thing. And then you hit the save changes button. And so what you're going to do is you're going to use all those emails we told you last week. You're going to do an immediately one. You're going to do three days before, two days before, the day of, 24 hours, whatever. You're going to add all of those. Okay, those are the registration emails. And then you have uh, live, which is, okay, you get your last minute reminders. You put those in there, and then you're going to go live. So let's say that when you go live, um, you know, if you, man, there's not very many people on, there's actually an option where you can come on here in your room and you can send an email to everybody who registered for your webinar so it's nice and simple. Then you're going to come in and create your post webinar. So this, this is all the, the orange is all the emails you send before your webinar. The green is you do your webinar. And then, and then the purple is all the emails you send after your webinar. You come in and you set all those up. And you may notice when you set these up, you know, I want to set this up for, you know, two hours after the webinar starts. Because let's say you have a two-hour webinar. And who do I want to send it to? All registrants, those who attended, those who didn't attend. You can come here and just pick whoever you wanted. So let's say we're going to send this to, we're going to send this to all registrants. And then you're going to remind them about the replay. And once again, it's got all the stuff in there. You hit save changes. You set up all those emails, okay? You may want to set up particular emails for people who didn't show up. That's fine as well. That's totally up to you. But you hit save. Now all my emails are configured. Now we go to step five, integration. This is where I want to show you. If you do not use Webinar Jam as your email integration, you'll do that right here, okay? So let's say that you have, you know, Kartra or Aweber or Infusionsoft or GetResponse or ActiveCampaign or any other ones. You can just come in here and you can integrate that right there, and then you won't need to do the notifications. If not, that's fine. Okay, uh, tracking system, integrate a third party tracking system. When you set up your Facebook accounts, we're gonna talk about this in two weeks, you're gonna get a, a code, okay, a tracking code, and you're gonna go to Facebook right here, and you're gonna say, I want, I wanna enable my tracking code, and I wanna enable my conversion code, and I will show you how to get those tracking IDs and put them right there, okay? And this will allow you to track people who come and sign up for your webinar. Okay, uh, no need to do any custom integration there. We move to step six. Uh, if you have a video for your thank you page, you could put the video in right here. You could save it. If not, just ignore it. Uh, if you have a text message that you want to send to people, you can put that in here. But there is a program that you need to have uh, saved if you're going to text message folks. Um, if you want them to subscribe to future webinars, which I don't recommend, you could do that. And if you want to create a survey, let's say that you want to create a survey for your folks, you can come in here and create a survey that they fill up and it will help you teach your class. You can do that. Okay. And then you go to, and then you can preview it if you want to. There is your, there is your preview. Okay. And then you go to step seven. Okay. And on step seven, uh, if you have a video, uh, that you want playing when people come in, you put it there. If you have a poll that you want to ask for, so let's say that you want to pre, you want to create a poll, and in the poll you want to ask them the question: Do you have an online product currently? Then you can put the option one is yes, option two is no, but I really want one, and you can even add a third one. No, and I never will. Okay. And what you can do then is you can take this, save changes, and you'll be able to use that poll later on in your product. You can use as many as you want. If you've got a video that you're going to be playing, so let's say you pre recorded the teaching of your video, you add the video right here, and you'll be able to play that at a drop of a hat inside your webinar. And social media, you can come on here and you can set up, you know, yes, show social media. You can set up here, um, all of your social media, which is already tagged. 
okay? Replay, if you're gonna do a replay, you hit the enable webinar replay button, and then when you send out those replay emails, it will tag it there. Monetization, you're probably not gonna charge for a webinar, but if you do, this is where you, uh, we set it up and then finally step number 10 you come on here and you are done now one little trick to webinar is if you change any of these you have to go through every step all the way to step 10 in order for it to be active okay so then you're gonna get your links right here you click on this and these are your links okay you go to presenter so if you want to invite somebody to your webinar this is the button that's generated if you want to uh, present this is the live room, so you can send that one, and this is the control room, you can send that one if you have more than one person, okay? So this is, this is your link. So we're gonna go right here to the finish, and we're gonna get our links right here, okay? Well, actually, we're not gonna do that, we don't need to do that, okay? But we've set up, we've set up Webinar Jam, okay? So now let's go connect Webinar Jam to our ClickFunnels, so this is really important. So you go to Webinar Jam, super simple. You're simply going to come. This you're simply going to edit your first page, okay, which is your registration page. Okay, you go to settings, you go to integrations, and then it says it's not connected. So then you go to integration, and you're going to find Webinar Jam. Okay, so the live Webinar Jam. That's the one we were on. You found it. Okay, and then action, we want to, when they click on that, we want to register them to the webinar, and then list, and you got to click, you got to refresh the list, and then when you open the list, once it refreshes, you should be able to find ours, which was launch fuel, and this is when we're doing it, you click on that, and bam, it's integrated. So now, okay, and you'll see the green button that says integrated, so now anybody who comes on here, if we were to preview this, if we were to come on here. So you want to if you were to preview this, if you were to come on and register my seat, and I enter, enter my name and my email address, okay, like this, if these are already set up, it'll submit it, okay, and then boom, it, hey, it's Russell. it takes me to what we call a thank you page, and you'll notice in Webinar Jam, okay, now if I can, uh, let's refresh this, go quick start, and we, if we go to analytics, and we go to Webinar Jam to launch fuel, pick the session that you want, you should be able to see that, well, it hasn't, it hasn't caught up with it yet, but it will catch up with it. You'll be able to see here in just a little bit that I will be registered right here, and you'll be able to see it, and you'll be able to come down here, uh, and you'll be, able to under, you'll be able to see who is in here and who is not. It takes a little bit, it takes about five minutes to, to be able to process that, but you can see it. But that's how you, that's how you, log, that's how you register or how you set up webinar jam okay so let's go to step number six step number six is now we need camtasia and screenflow so let's say that you're doing a webinar and you want to be able to do it you know you want to pre-record this and you want to be able to do a presentation from your screen okay or you want to do all slides or whatever then i recommend that you come here to camtasia okay go to camtasia if you have a mac Okay, uh, you can watch it for free. This is $200 and you own it forever, but this is the best screen flow page that you have. So, you know, what this will do is it'll screen capture your entire screen or a portion of your screen. It'll let people see your mouse. It'll highlight things. It'll record high quality audio so you can teach, like, like let's say that you have a slide deck like, you know, like I have. So if I had Camtasia on right here and I had my slide deck fully function and you see my mouse, it would have a little glow button on my mouse and I can click things and it'll record it. And what it does is it puts together a full video slideshow for you. So if, I really recommend this for webinars if you're going on and teaching uh, for a webinar and you're gonna pre-record it, I really recommend that you do this. If you're doing it live, I also recommend that this be running while you're doing it live, that way it's recording your live version and you can go back and use this later on. Now Webinar Jam will record your webinar for you automatically and put it on YouTube. You don't have to go in and change the settings, but Camtasia is just beautiful, so I recommend that you use Camtasia, okay? And then finally, number seven, Amazon. Now, what is Amazon? This is extraordinarily important. So let's say that you have created a handout, okay? Let's just come on and see if I can find one of these. Let's say that you create a handout, 
and um, and the handout is I don't really have one though, though so we're just gonna say it's this PDF okay so here's the PDF here this is the PowerPoint of my lesson today and you want to be able to make this accessible to folks well you can't just put a file in your webinar because one it's too clunky and two it's messy so what you do is you go to Amazon it's you just simply go to AWS dot amazon dot com slash s3 okay amazon or you just google it so just just google s3 amazon okay like that and uh, as you come down here you'll see it right here you click on it when you click on it you'll be able to set up your account and then after you set up your account you sign into your console now this is why this is so important you put in your username and password and you come here and click the s3 button it's always right on top Okay, and when you're on here, you're gonna put a put it in a bucket. So let's find uh, catapult. Let's find launch twenty eight. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload my file. Okay, so I'm gonna find that file. So launch twenty eight class six. I'm gonna upload that right there. I'm just gonna drag it in. Okay, when I drag it in, I'm gonna hit the it's uh, I'm gonna hit the next button. Okay, and then what I'm gonna be able to do now is I'm gonna be able to set this and this is always a little tricky because it got, got a little messed up on me oops there we go so I'm gonna be able to so I'm uploading that now it's coming to class six and when I click on this I, I see my page here but now I want to make it public because if I click on this little link right here nobody can see it okay so one, once I upload it now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make public click on the public button and it's now public now if I click on it people can see it okay so I come here and I copy this URL right here okay copy that and then what I can do is I can take this URL and if I tell you you know um, I can put this and make this available so like if I put if I put this in the chat room right here I can click on that URL right there I can publish this and let's say I had a handout or whatever so instead of sharing a file with you all you've got to do is click on this little link right here and you have my file okay if that's too long for you you just copy that link and you go to a program called bitly bit.ly and then you just paste that link right here and it'll shorten it for you and you copy it and I can just take that shorten link and I can put it right there and now if you click the shorten link it does the same thing it will open up the file okay so that's super important you're gonna need that with any files that you're sharing online you can't just share a file but you need a link just like that in order to share it okay so those are the seven things that you need in order to launch your products you need click funnels you need cloudflare you need stripe you need SendGrid, you need webinar jam you need Camtasia you need Amazon okay now let's go in and actually set up your product okay because now you want to be able to sell it right we got all the stuff done a little seamless now we want to be able to sell our product so let's go into our funnel okay we'll use our application funnel although I don't know that there's an order form in there so that's not a good funnel let's come in here and let's um, let's do a um, Let's do a free plus shipping funnel, okay? This is free plus shipping. So just a basic boring template. Okay, I didn't create this, these are right out of the box, okay? But it's a free plus shipping. So what a free plus shipping is, you're gonna give your book away, all they're gonna do is pay for shipping and handling, or you're gonna give your pills away, or your oils away, or whatever you're gonna give, you're gonna give something away in exchange for their, for their shipping fee. So you have to set up a product if you want them to do it. So when you come to the funnel, you've got this little overview right here, and what you want to do is you want to come over here. You have automation. And we're going to show you that in a minute. That's where you put your emails. And then you have products. So let's put product. And we're going to add a product right here. And so let's say that your product that you're selling is, and whatever this is, this is your, the magic bullet, okay? Whatever it is that you're selling, okay? Let's say it's your online coaching program or whatever. And then you're building integration. Who are we going to integrate it with? We're going to integrate it with Stripe. We already set that up. And how much does the product cost? Let's say the product costs $997, okay? And let's say that uh, 
um, and it, it's going to be a one-time fee. Okay, and so we're going to just put the product description. It's going to be called the Magic Bullet, and it's a one-time fee. And I'm going to create my product. Okay, bam. So now there's my product. Okay, right here. So if I were to um, come here, and if I was to look at this product right here, if I was to, excuse me, look at this funnel, and I was to click it. Okay. And I was to come in here and I was to put in my information. Okay. Let me just. When it comes time to buy it, it don't matter. Okay. So now when it comes here, oh, I'm asking for my phone number. So when I go here to buy it, it's see your product is going to be populated right there. The magic bullet $997. Okay. That's why you have to set up a product. Okay, so we go back into our products. Now, let's say that you have a subscription. You want to do $97, but you also want to take payments. Okay, so we come in here. And we're going to put the magic bullet. But let's say we're going to do 12 payments. Put this in here. This is a little more tricky. We're going to integrate it with Stripe. And the payments are going to be $97, okay? Okay. And then you're going to come in here and you're going to say it's a subscription, not a one time. And it's going to tell you to set it up with the plan. Well, I don't have a plan set up for that payment. So this is where I have to go to Stripe. Okay. I go to my Stripe account. Okay. I log in. Okay. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to come and I'm going to create a product. I'm sorry. I'm going to create a uh, subscription. Okay. Right here. Is that right? Hold on, what am I going to create? What am I going to create? Let me figure out what, uh, what, I, what it is I'm going to make. Okay, I'm going to do a, uh, I believe I'm going to do a subscription. And I'm going to hit new. Nope, that's the customers. Where is my... I've done this a million times and they changed one little thing in my old brain all of a sudden can't uh, can't do anything so products connect subscribe plans there it is so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to subscription and I'm gonna hit plans okay right here and I'm gonna hit a new plan and we're gonna call we're gonna put an ID on it so Let's whatever. Let's just do one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And what's the name of it? This is the magic bullet. Okay. 12 payments. Right. Okay. That's the name. We're going to take US dollars and how much is it? And you put 97. You put the monthly amount here and you do monthly. And then um, the description this is whoever your company is. That'll go in the description. That's what they'll see on their bank statement. And then you set this up, create plan. Now, if you have a trial, that's tricky. So let's say we put a 30-day trial in there, or even a seven-day trial. We'll put a seven-day trial in there. We're going to hit create plan. Okay, now this is important, okay? Now we go back to ClickFunnels, okay? Subscription, product description. We're going to put the magic button, and you're going to put 12 so people know what it is. And then you're going to connect it with a particular. Oh, that's it. When you do this, you've got to actually. Um, put the price. So you're going to put. Um, 12 payments. Of. 97 after seven day free trial okay and then you hit you create your product okay now there's an error on here because it's asking you to connect it with stripe but I'm, I don't quite see my I don't see it on here yet okay um, because I got to close this out and open it back up for it to refresh which is a little goofy thing okay so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, I hope this saves this for me, but I'm going to get out of here. Okay, now I can go back. Oh, shoot. I screwed that up. Well, let's do it again. I'm going to come back in here. 
Okay, we're gonna come in and we're gonna set up the product. Okay, so the magic bullet, 12 payments. We're gonna integrate with Stripe. It's gonna be $97, okay? And um, 97, $97, 12 payments in 97, seven day trial. It's gonna be a subscription, product description, and you're just gonna put the magic bullet, 12, okay, in your Stripe plan. And I still don't see that goofy Stripe plan. Well, it'll take a second to pop it. But let's say that was it. We just put the $90, $99 a month there. And then how many plans do you do? Now remember, you're gonna build them for 12 plans, right? So 12, but you don't put 12 payments because you're offering them a free trial. If you're not offering a free trial, then you can put 12. If you are offering a free trial, you have to put 13 because it considers a seven day free trial as a payment, okay? So you have to put 13 payments. And Stripe is smart enough to figure out it's not gonna really build them 13. One payment is a seven day free trial and then it's gonna build them 12 payments of $97 when you're done. You're gonna come here and you're gonna create your product, okay? Click on this and you got it. So now if we were to go back to our funnel and you were to look at this, in order to preview it, okay, you're gonna be able to see after you put all your information in, you'll be able to see now that there's two products here, one product, 12 payments, and one here. And you can see how clunky this gets, it's a lot of information, so you may not wanna put anything there besides just 97, okay? So you can just put 97 that, uh, slash month, and that would be okay as well, okay? So you don't have to put all this information in. Okay, in fact, let's just go in and just clear that up a little bit. Let's go back into our products. And we're gonna edit this product. And we're gonna come here and we're just gonna put um, $97 per month. Okay, just like that. Update the product, okay? And then when we come back in here, I, wanna, I actually wanna see if that Stripe thing is in there. Actually, make sure that this is integrated with Radius, okay? Oh, good, I'm glad I saw this. See, it's not, it's actually integrated with somebody else. So I gotta make sure my Stripe is integrated with Radius, okay, because that's who we're setting it up with. That's important, or you're gonna give another client your money, okay? So now if I go in here, and I go into my products, and I come in to edit my product, and I go down to my subscription, right here, my Stripe plan, there it is, Magic Bullet, 12 payments, okay? And I can update that. Okay, just like that, it's $97 a month. And now when I come in here and I preview, I, I preview my funnel, okay, and I fill out all the information, you can see that I've got the Magic Bullet 997, Magic Bullet 97, and you can do that with all of your products, okay? Now, a couple things, okay? When they get the product, you're gonna want to have, so you go back to edit, when they get it, you're gonna to wanna to send them an email letting them know that it's well. So when you hit the edit button, you're gonna see all these five things that you have to do. Can, the first one is settings, we got that. Now let's go to the email. And it says thank you for your purchase. You can make that whatever you want. And you're gonna see right here that this is connected to a product thank you page. And then this thank you page is gonna let you send them wherever you want to send them. Now I've got a million products in here, okay? But So let's say that I just sold or let's just say that um, I want to send them when they buy my product. Let's just say they are buying for that nine ninety seven. Let's say that they're buying the launch fuel. I think I have this in here. Let's say that they're buying the launch fuel right here. They're buying the launch fuel membership. Okay, so I find the launch fuel membership. Bam! I click that and then I hit the update product. Okay, so now when they buy this product, okay, they're gonna get access to my launch fuel membership so same thing email here i come down here and i find the launch fuel which is sort of close to the bottom okay launch fuel membership content and i update it so now when they get this email they will have that okay okay bam so i have it okay so now so i've got this all set up i come in here 
come on. I got my email. Okay, thank you for the purchase. It's all set up, okay? Now, I gotta make sure, though, that my email, remember, my email's gotta be set up with my send grid, right? So I go to settings, okay? We made our funnel this right here, and then come here to this SMTP configuration and just make sure you're all set up with your right thing. So now all those emails will come from the right place, okay? And that, that basically is the technology. That's basically all you have to do, okay? So you come in here, you're gonna wanna watch this video 100 times, you're gonna wanna email me, I'll walk you through it, but you gotta set up your products. Okay, your products gotta be in a, in a order form. You set up your products right here, you integrate it with Stripe, put the price in, do your email, okay, and then your email integration, okay, right here. If you're doing a third party, you, this is where you do it. If not, the what you got is fine. Now, what do you want to do? What do you want them to do when they submit, okay? What do you, where do you want them to go, okay? What do you want them to do, okay? So, update this here. Okay, what you want them to do now is you want to now send them emails. So, let's say they've got the fulfillment email, but you've got more emails you want to send them, okay? What you do is you go to this automation right here, and you, you can create an email. What do I want to do? I want to create a new email, okay? And then you put your name in here from Chad, okay? You put the subject line in there, hey, hey. And then, once again, you, where do you want it to come from? You want it to come from Launch Fuel, the one that you set up. You put it right here, and who do you want to get this? Who do you want to, so you may just create an email for everyone who purchased. So you create this right here, and this email right here. Okay. Come on. This is a little good because you have to come down here to the create email button right here. And you can open the editor, and you can write whatever you want in this email. Okay. And you create your email. Okay. And so now, everyone who purchased your product is going to get this set of emails. So you may have a whole series of emails set up for, you know, if they purchase, now you may want to ascend them because now you want to get them in your Facebook group and now you want them to, you know, to buy something else. And then now that you may want them to join a membership site, whatever you want them to do, you can put all of those emails here. And right here on your edit button, you can tell it when, under the email delay, you can tell it when you want it to send. So let's say that you want to send it, you know, two hours after they purchase, you put it right here and you update the email, and now that email will go out two hours after they purchase. Let's say you want to send another email to them, okay? So once again, Chad, and you want to put, uh, join my Facebook group, okay? And once again, you want this to come from the right place, and you want this to only go to people who purchased. You come down here and you save it, and then you're gonna come back to the edit button, I don't know where that is, but you want to come back. Oh, I didn't select one, so I'll use that template. Okay, but I want to come back to the edit button, and I want to say that I want this to go out one, two days after my, after they purchased. Or you could say, I want this to go out, you know, 36 hours after they purchased. So now it'll go 20, now it'll go a day and a half after, okay? If you do just the two, it's going to, whatever time they purchase, that's when that email is going to go out. So we want it to go out two days after they go out. So you can see, you can set up all of your emails right here. If you want to tag them, okay, you come in here and you tag them, you know, just put tag. And I want only purchased, and I want to do in click funnels. And what I want to do is I want to, let's say I want to, um, I want to remove them from a list. So I have them in one list that says, you know, prospects and I want to move them, take them out of that list. And then I want to add them to a list that says purchase. I can remove them from this list. Okay. Wherever my list is, you know, it's not complicated. You can figure that out. But for the sake of this, we're going to add them, add a tag and the tag we're going to add to them. If I had one, I'd have to come in and set up a tag, which is easy, but I'm going to come here and I'm going to add them to my customer list, bam. So now everyone who purchases is gonna get tagged with a, with a purchase, so that way, you know, uh, they're, not gonna get, they're not gonna get all of these emails down here, okay? So now let's say that I wanna create an email, and I want, you know, they, they got my, my, you know, my lead magnet, but they didn't purchase it, you know, and I wanna send them an email, like one of my emails that I set up last week, and I want to send them to, they saw it, but they didn't purchase it. We're going to use this one. Okay. And I want th this email 
you know, this is going to be the, um, this is the, uh, what I want. This is the, uh, hey, oh, hold on a second, pre-header. What am I doing wrong here? They change stuff in here all the time. It's a little aggravating because I don't, I don't ever do this stuff. So I expect it to be where it's at. Edit preheader. Oh, here we go. Preheader text. Oh, it, it's right there. Preheader text. And we're going to put uh, hi. I, um, hi, 24 hours left to get, you know, my magic bullet. Okay. Whatever. Okay. So done visitor editor. And so now that is going to be the subject line. So when they get this, okay, these people here, uh, they're going to get that one with that email address. So you can come in and you can, you can send emails to everyone, people who, saw it and purchase people who purchase whatever you want to do you can make this as complicated as you want i'm not trying to do that today so all i want you to do is i want you to put emails in here to everyone and put emails in here to people who purchased and the power of click funnels is is it knows it knows the difference so that's that's what you do folks that's how you get a product set up okay you come in here you get your product set up and you are ready for business okay i'm going to just show you what uh, this looks like if we were to do this, I'm going to put this on test mode just for right now. And I want to show you what it would look like. So I come here, I visit it. I fill in all my information. Okay. And I come here and I'm going to take your magic bullet for 997. And you'll notice at the top of the page here under, at least it's supposed to, I'm supposed to give you a little um, a, a credit card. And they're not giving it to me. I'm supposed to have a fake credit card. Right there. Why are they not doing it? Radius impacts. I really act like I know what I'm doing today, huh? Settings. Oh, I'm not in test mode. How did I get turned off? Okay, test mode. Now I'm in test mode. Now I can save it. Now if I preview it, at the top there's a credit card. Okay, there's a fake credit card right here that you can use to test your stuff. And you come on here, you go to step two, you test it, put in a fake CVS, and you just gotta make sure this expiration is in the future. So January 2018 from our filming today, and you hit the complete order button, and you'll see what this looks like. Now I've got this scheduled to go to a one-time offer page, okay? Um, and so let's say that you had all this set up and this was your one-time offer. And so let's say, yes, upgrade my order. Now, I don't have any products set up right here, so I doubt this is going to work. Okay, but if I had a product set up as my one-time order, and the way you do that is you come to your one-time order, you come into products, same exact process, you add a product. And we're going to just call this test. We're going to integrate with Stripe. We're going to call this $130, okay? And it's a one-time, and you hit create, okay? And let's do the same thing for the order, or, order two. I'm going to come into products. I have my products. So let's say this is test two, and then this is $997, and uh, building integration is a stripe. And it's a one-time fee, and you hit create products. Okay, then now watch what happens. I'll go through the whole funnel. So I come here, I fill out all the information, I see my product, I, I can buy it, I'm in test mode, so I'm gonna paste my test mode here, 
put it expiration in the future. I go to complete order and it's going to redirect me. So what it's doing, it's taking your payment and it's doing all the back end stuff. It's sending you the fulfillment email. Okay. Right here. Yes. I want to upgrade my order to whatever your fancy shiny object is and it's upgrading. Okay. It's a stop everything. Here's the second. Yes. I want the second. Okay. Now what it does then at the end of that, it takes me to a confirmation page where it says you bought the magic bullet for nine ninety seven. You bought the magic bullet for nine. I bought it twice because of my goofiness. Then I, I bought the test for one thirty, and I bought the test for nine ninety seven. Okay. And then these are the places where I can access it. So I can access my purchase right here and see it took me right here to the launch fuel. Cause that's where I told it to take me and I can go on here and I can create my, my account. And just like that, if you would have bought it, bam, now you have access to all of our stuff, okay? And so that's how you do it, folks. And so I am available. That's really confusing and complicated, I know. But don't forget that we do offer Kanshi Airs Coaching. This is where you get me, Mav, or Sandra. We'll walk you step-by-step step through the entire process. We can walk you through the uh, entire process. Uh, just so you know. So, hey, that's what I've got. Um, if you want us, if you want our help with that, you just let me know, and I'll be more than happy to uh, to help you with it. It can be very complicated, but we can we can walk you through the entire steps. We can coach you through every step of your launch process, and we can help you do all of the integration and all of the technology to make sure that you are buttoned up. It's uh, nineteen ninety seven. It's two thousand uh, dollars for all of our coaching. You get it for sixty days. That means we'll help you. Launch, create your product, launch your product, we'll coach you, it helps you figure out all the emails to write and to send and what to put on your landing page, et cetera. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna give you a ton of free funnels, so we'll help you do that. Uh, I'll even cheat a little bit and uh, I will uh, design a few things for you in there and then we'll do all the, we'll help you with all the integration to make sure it's all ready. So when it comes time for launch day, you are set to go. If you want that, it's 1997. Uh, we can take payments on that but we'll be happy to, we'll be happy to help you on that. Well guys, that's our class for today. Thanks for getting in the dirty with us, but that's all systems go. Those are all the systems that you need in order to launch your product. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me in the Facebook group and we are more than happy to help. For those of you who watch this on demand, I hope you take the time to go through the steps and through the processes and I promise to fix on the, uh, the brand new ClickFunnels integration with a new domain and I'll get that done and I'll post a video to that in the Facebook group. All right, guys, have a blessed day. Bye-bye.